Okay, here we're going to do some long division of polynomials. To set these problems up, take the divisor. The divisor is the polynomial after the dividing sign, and we're going to put that on the outside of the division bar. Then the dividend, which is the polynomial that comes in front of the dividing sign, that goes underneath the division bar. So 2x squared plus 11x minus 4. Okay, to get started, we're going to take, let me change colors here, we're going to take a look at just the 2x and just the 2x squared, and we're going to ask ourselves, what do you multiply 2x by to turn it into a 2x squared? Okay, well, what we multiply a 2x by to make it a 2x squared is x. Now, anything written above the division bar is going to get distributed through our divisor. So we'll have x times 2x is 2x squared, and x times 5 is 5x. Okay, now my students at this point no, they're supposed to subtract what we have in green right there, but they sometimes have a hard time remembering that. So they came up with a little mnemonic that says, draw the line and change the signs. So we're going to draw our, our subtraction line and change the signs of both of our new terms there. When we do that, we end up with 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. We should always get a 0 there. And 11x minus 5x is 6x. Now that we've finished our subtraction, we can bring down the minus 4. And basically, start the process all over again. So let me erase my distributing arrows to start over. Okay. Oops. So the first thing I want to do is go back to this. What do I multiply a 2x by in order to turn it into a 6x? Well, 2x times 3 is 6x, so we'll put plus 3. And we'll take this 3 and distribute it just like we did with the x. Okay, so 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 5 is 15 now that I need to subtract, I'm going to do that again, draw the line and change the signs. I have the luxury of having different colors here to use. If you're working in pencil, it might be a good idea to remind yourself that you did that by circling the changed signs once you do them. So we get 6x minus 6x again is 0. And let me go back to my green pen here. Uh, f negative 4 minus 15 is negative 19. And we don't have anything else to bring down, so this must be our remainder. Since the negative 19 is remaining to be divided by the 2x plus 5, we're going to write it like this. Negative, so we're going to subtract. 19 still needs to be divided by 2x plus 5. And that is our solution.